Jada is back at it here to give everyone another countdown video. In this particular video, I'm going to be counting down my top 10 favorite Will Smith movies of all time. This was a viewer requested video, and keep in mind, this is going to be my top 10 favorite Will Smith movies, not Will Smith's 10 best movies. So, a little disclaimer, uh, pay attention to the movie title. Um, and, uh, you know, if you haven't watched that movie, I would suggest maybe fast forwarding to the next movie or something like that, just in case I spoil anything about the movie. I'm not really sure what I'm going to talk about, but let's start the list. So number 10, I put Hancock. On this list because Hancock was a film that I really didn't have much expectations for. And it's about a, a superhero that's, well, doesn't necessarily exhibit the behavior of a superhero. It's a superhero that's dealing with alcoholism and does a lot of damage to property. You have Jason Bateman's character who tries to uh, make him conform and be, you know, proper. And then you have um, Charlize Theron's character who has a whole totally different story with Will Smith's character, Hancock, in that particular movie. So Hancock, number 10. Number nine, Men in Black. Men in Black was just right place, right time. It was a fun movie. Tom Lee Jones and Will Smith, I think, played really good off each other. Plot was, it was okay, but for what it was, I really enjoyed Men in Black, especially when it first came out. Now it's a little bit more cheesier, but man, every time I hear, think of Men in Black, I hear the, the Men in Black song, Men in Black Galaxy Defenders, nah, 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 it's a good guy, it's Justin Black, remember that. So Men in Black, number nine. Number eight, I put I, Robot. I, Robot's a pretty good movie. It's, uh, they think this one robot committed this murder of uh, James Cromwell, and it turns out that uh, it was something else totally different, and Will Smith is, uh, he's not a big fan of robots because they didn't, uh, somebody drowned, it's been a while since I've seen it, somebody drowned back in the day, and Will Smith thinks it should have been him and not the other person. I can't remember who it was now. And because of that, Will Smith doesn't trust robots, so it's an interesting movie, but certainly... Definitely one you should watch. So, I, Robot, number eight. Number seven, surprisingly, I was really surprised with this movie, Bad Boys for Life. I had, I didn't really like Bad Boys 2. I'm a big fan of Bad Boys 1. More on that later. The 1995 version. Bad Boys 2 just, it wasn't the same. And Bad Boys for Life brought all the funny dialogue back for Will Smith's character and uh, Martin Lawrence's character, Mike Lowry and Marcus Burnett. And uh, they really played well with each other. A little far-fetched plot. You know, Will Smith has his love child from back in the day. Um, from this, uh, I, I don't know. But it, the movie was actually pretty good. I was shocked at shit when they killed the captain, the captain in the movie, uh, played by Joel Pantoliano. But Bad Boys for Life, definitely a good movie and probably will be the movie of 2020 since not much else came out in 2020. Number six, we have I Am Legend. I Am Legend, it's it's just basically a Will Smith movie and not much else in it. Uh, I like the dog. The dog was awesome. Sam was very, very upset when they killed Sam off in the movie. But Will Smith is Robert Neville trying to find a cure for this, like, outbreak of infected zombies. And uh, he's basically the only one, one of the few remaining in this, like, yeah, it's it's a good movie, though. It's interesting. The more times I watch it, the more I liked it. When I initially saw it, I wasn't super thrilled about it. But I think that's just because I was mad that they killed the dog off. So, I Am Legend, number six. Number five, the movie that got me on Will Smith, the 1995 Bad Boys. I love Will Smith and Martin Lawrence in this movie. I like all the rest of the people that work at the, the the department that they work at. The only thing I don't like about this movie is Taya Leone. Other other than the fact that she's like, you have got to let him drive, but the the fact that Will Smith, Marcus, or Mar Mike, uh, and Martin Lawrence is driving Marcus Burnett's character, and he's like, man, I think that gunshot wounds improve your driving skills. It's pretty good. So, Bad Boys, awesome movie. The villain's really good in that, and the soundtrack. Even though it's a Michael Bay movie, it was actually the first Michael Bay movie. I love Bad Boys, and that's why it comes in at number five. 
Number four, I had to put Hitch up. On this list. Uh, I absolutely loved Hitch when it first came out. I thought it was really funny. Will Smith plays this, uh, this character named Alex Hitchens who is like a date doctor and gives good advice and puts people in situations where they can pick up somebody they might not have picked up or, you know, hung out with and dated. And he's trying to hook up this couple, uh, Kevin James and Al Amber Valen Valenta, uh, you know, otherwise known as Allegra Cole and, um, Albert Brenneman. And it's just a funny movie. And then Will Smith falls in love, or Alex Hitchens falls in love with this character, uh, played by Eva Mendez, Sarah Melis, and he like has issues like trying to hook up with her because he's clumsy and stupid around her. And it's it's really funny and I, I absolutely love Hitch. So Hitch comes in at number four. So I suggest that you go check out Hitch because it's an awesome movie. Number three. This was a tough decision because all these movies I really like. I had to put Enemy of the State. Enemy of the State is a great movie. Uh, it's a good kind of, you know, where all the technology that we're using, there's cameras everywhere. And, um, you know, Will Smith plays like a lawyer, attorney, I can't remember what it was, Robert Clayton Dean. And because somebody put something in his bag while he was lingerie shopping for his wife, um, the like the intelligence agencies after him because on that tape, somebody saw a congressman getting killed by John Voight's character. So you've got a lot of people in the movie that, you know, are big, like Jamie Kennedy, Seth Green, uh, Barry Pepper, obviously John Voight, Will Smith, Gene Hackman. And I think it's a really fun movie and really, really enjoyable movie. So Enemy of the State is number three on my list. Number one and two were very hard because, you know, it, best Will Smith movies are my favorite Will Smith movies. That's the problem with this. These are my favorite Will Smith movies. And just barely finishing number two would be Pursuit of Happiness. This is an excellent movie with a guy that's down on his luck, is trying to pay bills, and just it's one thing after another. He, uh, he has this really important job interview and he decides to paint for his landlord to get a break on like rent or not have to pay until the next day or something like that. And something happens where they find out he has a parking ticket or something like that and they take him to jail. So he's wearing this like painter, you know, wife beater, paint all over him. He gets out the next day. He goes to the interview at this like, you know, firm place and, uh, he actually gets the job. He's like, I, you know, I, I thought about why, what I would say, why I'm, I'm dressed like this. And I can't remember exactly what happened, but it's just a, a feel good movie. Uh, and Will Smith does an amazing job in this particular movie. And this easily could have been number one. These are so close. Um, the, you know, the, this one and the one that hits the top spot for me. So let's get right into it. The movie that is my favorite Will Smith movie of all time is a movie I saw in 1996. Independence Day. I mean, this movie was amazing. I saw this movie three times in the theater, and it doesn't get old to me. There's lots of people in the movie. There's lots of great performances. They even had a sequel after it, after 20-plus years, that Will Smith was not involved in. And I even liked the sequel, and a lot of people absolutely hate it. And then they say it wasn't what it was because Will Smith wasn't it. And that's debatable, but I, I liked Independence Day. It's a great movie. You know, Jeff Goldblum's awesome in it. Will Smith is awesome in it. Uh, Judd Hirsch is great in it. Robert Loja is great in it. The only irritating character is probably Bill Pullman, but even he isn't terrible. But it's just a great movie about the uh, you know us confronting aliens and what would happen and what they would do. And Barry Pepper, or not Barry Pepper, um... I'm trying to remember the guy's name. That's a beta in Star Trek. Um, it's not coming to me all of a sudden, but funny. I mean, good action, good dialogue, funny, entertaining, edge of your seat for some of this stuff. I mean, really, that's that's how I felt watching Independence Day in 1996. I saw it three times the day it came out in the theater. Trying to remember what Dr. Oaken's name was. The guy on Star Trek. And his name isn't coming to my mind. It's really bothering me now. But 
excellent cast. Just an all-around good movie. And then the, the dialogue about, I ain't heard no fat lady. Oh, you have an obsession with fat ladies. Fat ladies, must go faster, must go faster, must go faster. Go, welcome to Earth. What is that smell? It's just, I love the movie. So that is my list of all my favorite Will Smith movies. Let's just recap it real quick. Hancock, Men in Black, I, Robot, I Am Legend, Bad Boys 1995, Hitch, Enemy of the State, Pursuit of Happiness, and Independence Day. So that is my list. You can leave yours in the comments section. Also, leave me a comment on what list you want to see me make next. What actor or actress you want to see me do next. I have a few that I'm going to do my own, but if there's anybody that you want to see, I certainly will try my best to get a, a list compiled or a countdown compiled for that. Uh, if you're a fan of Will Smith and you like Will Smith movies, especially Independence Day, Pursuit of Happiness, Bad Boys, Enemy of the State, Hitch, smash that like button. If you know anybody else that you think would be interested in listening or watching this particular video, because they're a Will Smith fan too, share the video with them. And then let them know that they can share it with whomever they want to share it with. Obviously, leave lots of comments. Leave your list. If you don't want to do top 10, you can do top 5 favorite Will Smith movies. And again, it's your favorite Will Smith movies, not the best Will Smith movies or the best blockbusters. That's why I didn't put like Wild Wild West on here or the Men in Black 2, Men in Black 3. I just put my movies. And then, of course, don't forget to hit that sub button. Subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your support, and be a part of something special. And J-Dev will return.